Bazarang Baan, a potent hymn when rating Lord Hanuman, is deeply revered in Hindu mythology. It's believed that devoutly reciting Bazarang Baan for 41 consecutive days can grant one's desires. However, understanding its underlying principles and precautions is imperative. Central to this practice is the acknowledgement of divine justice, believing in God's equitable intervention. Whether seeking personal aspirations or resolutions to life's quandaries, reciting Bazaran Baan is approached with unwavering faith in divine righteousness. While engaging in this practice, individuals are cautioned to be mindful and respectful in their worship of deities like Bhagwati and Hanumanji. Worship should be conducted with sincerity, avoiding any disrespect or negligence. Combining Bazarang Baan with the chanting of Sundarkand, a chapter from the Ramayana, is thought to enhance its efficacy. This intertwining aims to amplify the spiritual potency of prayers. Intention is paramount in reciting Bazarang Baan, it should never be done with the intent to harm others. Devotees are encouraged to approach with pure hearts, seeking blessings for themselves and others, fostering harmony and goodwill. It's vital to differentiate between seeking resolution and harboring ill will. Bazarang Baan isn't about invoking harm but about fostering peace and reconciliation. By extending olive branches and genuinely desiring resolution, individuals embody principles of compassion and forgiveness. Spiritual growth involves acknowledging and rectifying mistakes. Accepting responsibility, sincere repentance and a commitment to change are essential. Embracing humility and seeking forgiveness pave the path for personal transformation and spiritual elevation. Ultimately, reciting Bazarang Baan is laden with spiritual significance and ethical considerations. By upholding righteousness, compassion and introspection, Devotees embark on a journey of self-discovery and divine communion. Trusting Baba's guidance, they navigate life's challenges with faith, knowing their sincere efforts will be met with divine grace.